And now, that's late. Beautiful. That will make a record for uh, my dog. Come on. You're listening to the PHJB Radio Network, New Orleans. Extreme weather events related to climate change are going to play an increasing role in the future of our world. How can we better protect coastal communities exposed to these weather events? I've asked atmospheric scientist Professor Adam Sobel, social scientist Dr. Katrina Brown, and meteorologist Professor Uwe Ulbricht. How can we better protect people from future catastrophes? So probably half a billion people worldwide live in deltas like the Mississippi Delta. And we know that these people are at risk because of the impacts of climate change. Everything was knocked down, turned over, houses down, trees down, power lines. I never seen a storm like that. It must have been a nightmare. It is combinations of different extreme events which are particularly dangerous. The research project that I'm doing with AXA is about patterns of extreme events and how they're related to climate. I do it because it's fascinating, but also because this is the atmosphere that all of us live in. And so what it does matters to everybody on the planet. To have a service to society, it is necessary to bridge between the different scientific disciplines to produce a better picture of what can happen. And we are doing that with my AXA project. For me, what's really critical is how communities build resilience, the ability to bounce back after a disaster, and the capacity to adapt to changes over time. If another Katrina came again, you would really see how strong and how together we would be. Short-term preparation is tremendously important, but to really protect people, we need to also plan in the long term for the risks that we know are there. What we need to have is an adaptation in the light of climate change. We need to get the right degree of resilience to the infrastructure. Resilience isn't about extinguishing vulnerability. In fact, vulnerability is one of the things that makes us human. It's about identifying the things that make us vulnerable and the ways in which we can affect change. Our science is about assessing what those risks are so we can reduce the burden that we're giving to future generations. It's about people, their courage, their perseverance, and their hard work helping each other out in times of need coming together to organize and to challenge the things that are actually making them vulnerable. I really hope that my research can inform ways in which we can make decisions and the ways in which people are going to be able to deal with those changes. This is a challenge that is motivating us to do the work. It is good motivation, helping people directly with the information and indirectly by getting the authorities to have a better approach to the problem. I think any catastrophe is a wake-up call. If another catastrophe happened, worse than Katrina, the only thing I'm going to do is leave. But I'm going to come back and rebuild my home because I love my area. <laughs>